Stampers, it's Jackie Ballheis from Clockin' Stampers. Hey, before I get started, I just wanted to mention I'm stamping with you from Zealand, Michigan. I get asked all the time, where are you from? And the clump and thinking it's Dutch. Nope, it's not Dutch. I'm just from a very Dutch community. So, side note there, that's not why we're here. We're here to stamp today. I have a project for you today to teach you how to use up scraps of your designer series paper. Now I do a lot with designer series paper and sometimes I cover a whole card and I use big pieces of it, but that also means I always have tons of scraps. And if you're like me, it's really hard to throw those scraps away. So today we're gathering up scraps and we're gonna make a super fun background on a card. So just a quick reminder before we get to our stamping today, down in the description of this video right down there, I'll have a link that will take you over to my website. It'll even take you to the specific post that goes along with the project I'm sharing with you today. And on that blog post, you will find all the details for the card I made. I'll list all of the supplies, the cutting dimensions, I like to call that the card recipe, and a few other details for you. And then if you'd like to place a Stampin' Up! order, you can easily just click and order. And I appreciate it when you select me to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Now enough of that, let's flip this camera down because this is a fun project and I want to get to making it. Hang on one second. Now the idea I'm going to share with you, you could use any designer series paper. Actually, for that matter, you could just use cardstock. But today we're going to use scraps and you'll see I have a whole bunch of half inch, I think, the, yeah, half inch strips of designer series paper that are all from the Forever Greenery. Now it's really nice when you use a pack of designer series paper, you've got all different prints, different colors, fronts, back, backs, and so we know they're all gonna coordinate and look good together with the colors. And then we also know what colors will coordinate to finish off our card. Just a side note, I get asked about these charts all the time. I just made these, um, listed all the designer series papers and put little, um, swatches, couldn't think of the word there, and my colors so that when I share with you, I don't have to try to show you the whole pack, but they're also very helpful for myself to know the colors when I'm working with them. So oh, we have just a piece of Whisper White here and it is five and a quarter by four. Now let me grab my craft sheet a second. These silicone craft sheets are awesome when you think you're gonna get adhesive kind of on your work surface. It'll protect your work surface and it rubs right off when it's done. And I think we might get just a little bit messy on this one, so let's go ahead and use it. So what we're going to do is take, and you can use your favorite adhesive. I like the liquid adhesive, it's my favorite. And I am going to kind of lightly, I mean, we don't want it to goosh out on us, but I'm gonna cover this whole thing. And you can see I'm trying to, I'm actually have the tip right, rubbing right down there on the cardstock that helps it from gushing out too much. But we wanna cover it pretty good. You'll see why here. And then we gotta work kind of fast before this dries. So we're gonna talk and work at the same time. So we're gonna just take a strip here and I am gonna start by putting it at an angle. There's no exact right or wrong way to do this. You wanna just stick it on there. And then I'm gonna just keep grabbing different strips. And I always wanna make sure that the patterns vary quite a bit. Slide it up tight to that other one. And then I think I'm gonna do three at a time. Now you can work in twos or threes or fours or a combination, again, no right or wrong. But we're gonna go ahead and do those. And then I'm gonna flip it a little bit here and we're gonna do three other ones, but this time we're gonna go at a different angle. Now my angle's kind of determined by the end of this, I wanted it up kind of tight to that piece. And then we'll stick this one in there like so. And I'm, I'm trying to just keep grabbing pieces that I haven't used yet so we can end up using all these different prints. Then we can go ahead and we can turn this again and we're gonna go back to this direction. Let's see, what haven't we used? I guess we're gonna start repeating here a little bit and we'll go one, two, and then we got just a little bit of space there. And if you don't feel like you have enough adhesive, you can go ahead and add, oh, that's kind of a lot. Let's scoop some of that up there. And let's fill this last one in with this piece. So that's gonna stick right there. And then let's see how, oh, I had adhesive kind of on the back of my sheet there. Okay, then let's flip over to here. 
And we're gonna, once again, let's go in this other direction. So we're gonna go one, and then I think we'll take our stripes. And like I said here, there's no, no real right or wrong reason. Now we can do two, and then if we wanna come that way, and let's do two in this direction. Remember, we can do two or three or one or whatever works for you. Sometimes these little pieces, I'm not sure I have enough. So let's go ahead and use this. No, nope, we're gonna go this way. Now, I am about out of pieces here. And you can see they're hanging all over the edge. So what we're gonna do is pick this up. Now, when you do this, be careful, because I have adhesive out there. And we're gonna just take my scissors and we'll snip all of these ends off. Now. I'm gonna clean up this edge later on, so it does not worry if you don't cut these perfect. Um, the idea here more is just to get these pieces so we can keep going with them, okay? Okay, now let's come over to the other side here, and I think we're gonna start by kind of doing a long one with get some more of those fun little stripes. Now, as you pick these up, some side is gonna have the weird cutting from what you just trimmed off. So make sure you use the other end. Let's go ahead and stick that one there. So there's three, and then let's go this way. Looks like this one needs to be slid up there a little bit. And then we can go that way. And so I hope you kind of just get the gist of what we're doing. Um, we can put another one right there. And then we just, I think we can fit this little tiny piece. Yeah, we need some adhesive there. So the whole idea is that I wanna fill in this whole piece of um, Whisper White. And then when we're done, we're gonna go ahead and trim it off and get some really nice, neat corners. We haven't used that one in a while. So let's go ahead. We are almost done done here, almost all filled in. So we wanna keep going before that adhesive dries. So like I said, use whatever adhesive is your favorite, your adhesive of choice. I know everybody likes different ones, so feel free to do this your way. And then let's see, I think one more, we'll go ahead and stick that there. So we've covered all of it. So now when we flip this over, again, we'll just use our scissors and just roughly cut these. Okay. Now, if you want to, when you're doing this, if it's easier for you, you could put the adhesive onto the strips as you lay them down. I find it's easier to spread it all over there, but then you just have to be careful to not get too messy. Now, when we flip this over, you'll see that we're not cut real even there because we just used that scissors. So what we're going to do is take your pim uh, excuse me, paper trimmer. <coughs> And we wanna get this nice and square. So for the first edge, we're gonna kinda of eyeball it. And I'm gonna trim this down. And I want this piece to end up being three and three quarters by five. So once we get one straight edge, then we can work our way around. And I got my second straight edge. Now I know I want it five. So for this side, we're gonna come out here to the five. And as long as we didn't cut too much off the first time, that'll fit good kind of making a mess here. And we got three and three quarters going in that direction. There we go. So now you can see all of our edges are nice and crisp and even. So we're gonna go ahead and put our card together. So I can just go ahead and back this on a piece. Let's see, we have shaded spruce here. You know, just pick any colors in your designer series paper. And I hope what you, what you really see here in Envision is how I'm just using a adhesive on there. Let me peel this off. I'm just using scrap. I'm just using scraps of designer series paper. So whatever scraps you have, this idea works really nice for it. We can go ahead and put that onto our card base. And at this point, you can finish off this card however you want. If you wanna just add a greeting on it, if you wanna add some stamped images, or even leave it like a note card like that. So I pre-did a few things, because really the focus of this was to show you how to do the background technique. And I stamped the I can't thank you enough out of the So Sentimental, and then used this die to cut it out. So that's all ready to go. And I think we'll just pop that up 
with dimensionals. And then since I was working with the Fern Designer Series paper, I thought we might as well use the Forever Fern stamp set too, because you guys know I love that one. I'm gonna put that right there. So I did stamp and use the dies for three different images here. Again, I thought I would just do that ahead of time. And then we're gonna flip this one over. Oh, we got room here for a big dimensional. Oh, that one might need a small dimensional. So we'll put that on there. And I'm just really gonna take these three pieces. Okay, again, they're just stamped and cut out with the dies. You know, honestly, you could stop there if you wanted to. We're gonna stick those down in there. Let's see, we'll kind of go at an angle like so. And then let's put a couple on here as well. And let's see if we can get that right there. And then probably should have put that up a little higher. I don't know. Yeah, we can come off that way. Like, you know, there's really no right or wrong way here. We're just gonna kind of stick them in. Like so, and there you go. There is your card with the fun background. So again, just cut yourself a bunch of half inch strips and you know, like I said, no right or wrong way. Do two or three one way, two or three the another way and just work your way around and there's your card. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and I challenge you to go use up some of those scraps you have. You know, if you have one inch pieces, cut them into half inch. You know, you really, you could do this with quarter inch pieces or one inch, um, whatever size you want, or you could even mix and match the different sizes. It really doesn't matter. So I hope you like the project. I look forward to stamping with you again real soon. Have a stamp happy day.